Hi, and welcome back. This is We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. In this episode, we'll be going into the heart of the Dolomites. After we stopped for a light breakfast, we headed out up into the mountains. Our first stop was this gem. It was a beautiful blue lake, just in the edge of the Dolomites. I really wanted to do the hike around it, but uh, the parking lot was completely full, not even room for a motorcycle. Yeah. So Glenn stopped in the no parking zone. No parking zone. zone, yep. Again, I Thank hopped you. off, took a few pictures, and we were on our way. Okay, so this week's tip trip, trip, tip, <laughs> never gonna get that right, uh, is a place or as a website called Atlas Obscura. So we use it quite regularly when we're going into areas and what they do is, is actually users can contribute to it and you find these weird and strange things. Obscure. <laughs> obscure. Uh, and you can go on like scavenger hunts or, or to find these. We did some in Hungary. We found an abandoned Russian uh, town, town basically, in Hungary. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Um, and there was in Zagreb in, Zagreb in we, Croatia. We looked for the planets. So this artist made this sun and put it in the middle, I'll get a picture of it, the middle of the town, one of the was, town squares in, Zag in Zagreb. Zagreb. And then after that, uh, these art, other artists made all these little planets to scale and put them around the city to scale where they yeah. would be. Um, so our job was to find, find the sun and then find the planets. And I think we found Mercury. We, we found quite a few, but the farther out ones obviously were quite yeah. a ways out of the city center, so we didn't do that. Like we but found it, Mercury and Venus and Earth, yeah. and then but they it was, were starting to get out of town. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. So check it out. Um, they have an app, so yeah, that's very useful when you're in a place wherever you're at. Just bring up your app, look and see what's around you, and there might be something that interests you. Yeah, and you could use it to set your route to go on Atlas Obscure, pin on Google Google Maps a bunch of neat spots, and then just yeah. follow the map. That lake we stopped at was on it, so we just changed our route a bit to take it in. And the um, last episode, the church that was hanging on the side of the cliff, that was also an Atlas Obscure stop. Yeah. Okay, so when we pulled away from the lake, now we started getting into the mountains. The roads got twistier and funner and greener, and the peaks got a little more jagged and things like that, and, and it started to become the Dolomites for sure. But it's also brought a lot of motorcycles, we're starting to see the motorcycles yes. and the pedal bikes. <laughs> so we we headed out and we went up and we started to head up the Sella Pass. And this should have been our first indication that something was up and I can't even remember we'll have to look back and I, we'll note what day it was I think it was a weekday I think it was a Thursday but I think there was like a bike race going on pedal bike a race. pedal bike race and these guys take it seriously let me tell you so when we came to the corner you could either go straight up to Sella Pass or you could turn to go to what is it called? Poyer, Poyer Pass? Poyer Pass. Pass and it looked like the Pedal bikes were going up to Sella, so we decided to turn. Yeah, we thought we'd be smart and yeah. take the short, take the other pass, and let the bikes go yeah. on. So we did, and then we ran into this. this. They took like full size buses, and when you hit a corner, the bus they had the people had to make room for the bus to get around the corner. Even. So the way I take my uh, how to ride the motorcycle in Europe, I take it from the locals. A bit more bus following, Glenn followed. 
But once we got past the bus, the roads were a dream. Yeah, I mean, they opened up pretty good. The mountains were incredible. Around every curve, it was just a new vista, a new site. It was absolutely beautiful. Just really what we were hoping for. Yeah, and you know, the cars and the pedal bikes and the buses, you know, they kind of slow you down and gives you a chance to look around too. And otherwise, you just, you're going to miss it all, right? So, so uh, it wasn't that bad. Got up to the summit. Uh, went and looked in the local gift shop. And Gary went for a walk. But once we had our coffee, we headed back down the same way. and uh, rejoin Sella Pass. The chaos of the bikes had passed, so we enjoyed the curves. Yeah, so it was quite a bit quieter. The race uh, or pedal bike get together, whatever it was, seemed to have evaporated and man, it was great. Going down was quick and fun and then we hit Sella Pass and the same thing. The traffic was had dissipated so it was awesome. Yeah, it was beautiful. Back on the Sella Pass, we're entering the area called the Val de Gardenia. And this is an amazing area. Beautiful mountains, beautiful meadows, green. And But the ama real amazing thing is that this area in the wintertime is just a, just a it's haven it's for skiers. It's a skier's mecca. It's a skier's paradise, really. They had this, they call it the Sella Ronda, and it's like 40 kilometers of skiing around this, these mountain areas and you just go up the lifts and you ski and oh, it just absolutely looks amazing. It goes over four paths, yeah. four of the mountain passes. I think you can get lost to it pretty fast. Well, it's well marked, I mean. If but you can read Italian, I think. <laughs> there's orange and there's <laughs> green. If you go in one way, it's green, other way it's orange. So it, it looks really fun. Um, yeah, it's also this whole area because of the lifts and they use it in the summer. The paragliders are all through here. Yeah. And I kind of jammed out. I, I was like, oh man, I'd love to try that, but my fear heights kind of makes yeah. it so. Well, yeah. Maybe next time. Next time I'd like to come in the winter and check out these ski areas. There's 500 kilometers of slopes here with like over 200 yeah. lifts. It's just, just really amazing. Um, but the nice thing is that... Who are you coming with in the winter time? I don't know. A motorcycle don't work in the winter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, maybe mo uh, ski biking or... Yeah, I don't, I don't know if... I don't, know yeah, if, I don't think they do that. I don't know if sled bikes have made yeah. it there yet.
But uh, the nice thing is in the summer, a lot of these lifts are open. So our next day is in this picturesque town in the valley, surrounded by these mountains, um, Selva de Val Garden, something Good like luck. that. Yeah. yeah. It, it actually, in this area, they have two or three different languages they speak. I'll sh put the sign up here, you can and see. And we can't speak any of it, yeah. so we pretty much hack them every time. I think so. they have Italian, German, and probably a local dialect. Leave a note in the comments if you want us to put GPS <laughs> routes, because that might be more helpful. Yeah. Or GPS pins. Okay. So we got into our room and settled, then we went out and checked out the town. So in the next episode, we are going to go up the lift with the paragliders and show you some of the really amazing sights and some of the ski lifts and stuff that uh, are part of this area. We'll see you next time. <laughs>